Good morning, so we're up in vlogging today. It's a bonus vlog. I think I actually have a lot of vlogs for next week, so it's gonna be a jam-packed week, but we're gonna do a little mini vlog today. The kids are both up and going for school, and uh, we're greeting everyone and multiple languages this morning. We're practicing our language too. Buenos dias, everyone. <laughs> Buenos dias. So, and good morning, Natalie. I'm gonna get you guys some food. But yesterday, Isabella, they have Chinese class every Wednesday at Isabella's school, and they learn about different events and their culture, and they're also learning uh, the symbols, the different, the different words, and they're learning, you know, just basic, I don't know that they're gonna end up being fluent out of grade school, but they're learning, you know, the basic language. So yesterday, Isabella shared Counting to 10, will you share counting to 10 with us again today? Mm, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna jump to 10 and tiny. Ling, e, er, sen, si, u, leo, ji, ba, jo, and j. <laughs> Good job. And they're learning, I guess there's different motions for each number too, so they're learning those as well. Good job, Isabella. So she's enjoying first grade because they've got extra classes like that. So I'm gonna get their food. Making my coffee over here and using my Enjoy mug today. And it's still not really light outside. It gets like light later here. But that's what the, you can see the wreath a little bit better than last night. There's the Valentine's Day wreath. I thought it turned out cute with the heart banner. Got my coffee and my eggs down here. So we're gonna grab a quick breakfast and then get ready for school. Bella snacks real quick for school and she's gonna eat lunch at school today because they do breakfast food on Thursday. Thursdays. That's what she likes buying her lunch there on Thursdays. Everyone's wearing the Wally Wisher shoes today because it's supposed to be rainy. <laughs> Natalie's wearing her Kendall socks. And Bella's got her Camille shoes on. So we're ready to go to school. And she's wearing the sage dress. So we're mixing and matching today. So we are back home from dropping off Bella at school and Natalie's in there getting a snack. And I'm waiting, there's a contractor coming over this morning to fix something with the house stuff. That stuff's ongoing and it's gonna be ongoing through probably the spring or the summer and obviously when it all started. Uh, I said I knew that going into it, it was gonna be a long process. We have run into some issues which is just kind of par for the course with this stuff, but then that makes it go longer. So the one that he's coming over to fix today, it's not a big deal, they're just re, um, Doing the seam where all of the you know stuff comes together as far as the new part, and that's no big deal. Um, and then we still have the yard and the sprinkler system that to get fixed. The big problem that we found out about is that the siding people. So our house is part brick, and then there's some areas of siding they had to put new siding on because they had to pull brick from one part and yada yada. Anyways. So they put new siding on. Well, the problem is, is when they redid the soffits, they covered up our soffit vents, which if you know anything about houses, which I don't, I'm just learning about all this stuff, but that's a big issue. <laughs> it's a real big issue. So um, we've had like independent like insulation or, you know, like attic people come in and that's all gonna have to get redone. So that's all gonna be probably tore off and redone in the spring, so that's a huge pain. Uh, but it's got to be done right because that can totally like destroy your house if that's not done right. So it was a huge oops on the subcontractor's part that put it in. Um, they just, they didn't take off the old vents and they just double covered them up. So there's like literally no ventilation. <laughs> so that's bad. Um, but then what else? Oh, the window's still broken. Apparently that's supposed to be done in the spring. So anyways, there's still like stuff that has to get done. And so that's why going into it, I knew I was basically, I have a huge mouth for starters, so I'm not going to be able to not talk about it. But, you know, it was going to be an ongoing thing for a really long time. So how do you explain ongoing construction at your house going on for like over a year where nothing really looks different in the end? <laughs> You know, it's not like we're remodeling, you know, it's so anyhow, that's how I knew going into it. It was going to be a long process and I was just going to have to go with it and talk about it as it went. So anyways, I'm dealing with that and one of the, I like these contractors, They're, these are subcontractors, but these are the, the Burt guys were really good. They cleaned up after themselves. They were really good. Signing people, not so much. They were a mess. But anyways, so I'm dealing with that. Um, and I really I have to deal with a lot of the 
house stuff on my own when uh, my husband's traveling for work. This isn't something I talk about a lot. It's because one, it's not really something I need to talk a lot about on my channel, but it's something that I think that a lot of other moms can um, relate to if you're in a similar situation, but I don't highlight it obviously for safety reasons, but my does, my husband does travel for work and it's, it's, around the United States, but then also like recently he's had to go to Mexico a lot. He's probably gonna have to go to China this year. So it's it's one of those things where when you're the kind of stay at home parent that's holding down the fort, you kind of just have to keep everything going. So I just have the added issue of dealing with all of this extra house stuff on top of keeping everything else going. So it's not like a woe is me thing because that's what I signed up for. I knew he was in a uh, you know, position with a multinational company that, you know, you have to do things globally. That's just the world we live in today. And I think a lot of people can kind of relate to that, but it does have its stressful moments. But I can't, you know, I think a lot of people don't understand, like, well, why don't you ever show them in the vlogs and that sort of thing? It's partly a safety reason because I don't want you to be able to figure out in the vlogs when he's home versus when he's not home. But that being said, you know, he obviously has been doing the YouTube videos more lately. And when we do the Disney trips and things like that, um, he said he's going to probably grab a camera and try to vlog a little bit. So that makes me excited because it's kind of fun for me to see him having fun with it, you know, and he's seeing the benefits from it and he's enjoying like watching videos more and everything. So it's just kind of fun for me to see him like you know, want to be more involved, but that being said, you probably will never ever really see him other than maybe a little snippet here and there I might show occasionally um, in regular vlogs because it, then it would be too easy for people to figure out when he's traveling for work. You know, obviously if there's a huge stretch of like three weeks, he's like vlogging a part of it and then all of a sudden he disappears, well, then it's gonna be pretty obvious when he disappears out of the vlogs, he's traveling for work. So anyways, that's why I don't think you'll ever see a difference with that. But with the Disney vlogs, um, who knows what they'll look like this time. So that's exciting. So I'm going to go vacuum, I think, real quick before the contractor gets here. And I need to keep doing some laundry today. And then we'll see. I don't know if this is going to take all day long or how long this is going to take. We'll see how long this takes. And then we'll figure out if we're going to be able to go do anything today. Lunch. To the sounds of work being done. Contractors are done working on stuff, so we may run out and just try to get out of the house for a few minutes, run some errands before. We're gonna go pick up Isabella at school. Hopefully she had a good day. And then that's about it for the day. Normally I would've had Zumba, and that's about it for Thursdays, but they were here right at the same time that I would've had Zumba, so I couldn't go out. Like, they were literally getting here. At the same time that Zumba was starting, so I had to skip that for today. So we had a pretty low key day today, not a whole lot going on. But the couples one, two, three tag went live today, and I had to tell you, it was so hilarious. It, it was really funny. So if you haven't watched that, you gotta go watch that one. It was a lot of fun to do too. We had fun doing that one. And I need my haircut. For a while, I start messing with my hair a lot. Like I start doing this, and I was doing that in the video the whole time. I start doing that when I need my haircut because like this whole back part's starting to, you know, grow out. And I sit there and I fix it. So I'm gonna get Natalie a snack, and then we're gonna go run and go do some stuff. I hear some clicking coming down the stairs. Get a new doll. Yeah. Have you been watching YouTube kids too much? She's upstairs. I let her have the iPad in her room while the contractors were here so she'd stay out of their way. And then of course she watched American Girl videos the whole time. So now she's got a wish list like 10 miles long. So what's on your wish list now, Natalie? Hmm? I want to ride Camille today. You want Camille is on your wish list? You can also let Yoda out. Hello, Yoda. <laughs> we had to shut him up when the contractors are here because he's such a pain. <laughs> so we just ran out for a little bit and I, of course, found some cute stuff. It's just fun hunting. It's just about the hunt. It's about the scavenger hunt. So I'll show you what I found. But Natalie's getting another snack. She's eating another snack because she's hungry constantly. And then we're going to go get Paula in just a little bit. But then also, I got in the mail, I think, I don't think it's going to be going on still by the time this video is posted. So every year, if you watch me on Bags for Bubbles, um, you guys know I like Zoya nail polish and it's owned by Art of Beauty. 
And every year they usually have like a try for free like product thing where you can get their products for free. You just pay like a promotional shipping and handling. So this year it was try for free. I think that was the code too. And you put the code in and you paid like $15 shipping and you got four of their products for free, which their products are regularly priced like $12 to $15. So it's a pretty good deal. So I'll show you what I got because I got two lipsticks and two nail polishes. So these are the two colors that I picked. I picked Kindle and Rue. And they're just kind of nice neutrals. So I got those for the nail polish. And for the lipsticks, I got Brooke and Belle. So I'm going to open these up and see what these are like. I think you can see the colors from this angle a little bit better. But this one over here, that one's Brooke. And this one is Belle. And then this is Kendall. And this is Rue. So, again, not too bad of a deal when you just have to pay for shipping and you got to try the products for free. Then while we were out, I swung past a TJ Maxx and a Marshalls that are by each other. And they're kind of like closer, you know, not as quite of a distance as the other places have been checking out. So we just swung past there real quick. And at TJ Maxx, they didn't have any Ray Dunn stuff, but they did have this piece of wood that was on clearance. It was only $4.50, so I thought this would be cute and different like just settings and things like that just for decoration so I grabbed that while I could find it because all the other pieces of wood were like $19.99 or something like that and they did I take that back they did have a couple Ray Dunn things but they were cat dishes which they were really super cute I had never seen them before they're smaller than the dog bowls that I've seen in a lot of people's videos I've never seen these cat dishes but we didn't really need them so I left them there they were super cute I should have took a picture or something but then a Marshalls I feel like the world is sending me these mugs just because I can annoy my husband with them now. I found two mugs and um, one of them was like one that I was kind of wanting for Valentine's Day coming up. So this one says brilliant, which I thought was cute. Put it right there next to the spoon one. And then this one, I guess maybe won't annoy my husband quite as much because it doesn't have a word on it. It just has hearts. And that one has a heart on that side and a little tiny heart on that side. And it's got a red interior. So that's awesome because I have the XOXO and the heart now. So I can do four mugs across on my shelf. The yours, mine, this one, and XOXO. And I've got that all sorted out for Valentine's Day. So that was exciting. So I found those two things. <laughs> so I, I uh, you know, found some good scores and can annoy my husband at the same time. So it's a good day. <laughs> but, um... And I'm not gonna probably use this for mugs, but I just thought that would be a cute little display thing. I've seen a couple people use it on the Instagram and it looks cute when you arrange things on those pieces of wood. So I'm gonna go recycle all this stuff and we're gonna hang out for a little bit until we go pick up. I'm gonna get Natalie's laundry real quick and we're gonna put it in here so I can start her laundry up. And Bella's laundry is done. We just need to bring it upstairs and fold it. I'm going to check something in the basement real quick, but this is what it looks like without the chairs gone. And honestly, neither kid even noticed. So I think that those were good to go. We got Bella at school. We're picking up some uh, dinner at Kroger. So we picked up some things at Kroger, and I am not going to do a grocery haul. However, I am going to show you these Italian pinwheels are really, really good. And also, our Kroger has had these on, like, super sale, and the kids loved them. So we picked up a bunch of boxes of these to have, like, just put back in the freezer in case they sell out of them. But I got a bunch of those, and I've been drinking the peach water. So that's what's up with Kroger. I'm going to start dinner here, and we're going to just do, like, a little appetizer bar for dinner tonight. So I got these mini quiches for myself, and then some of these Franks in the Brinklet. The kids really like these. And we've got some more of that cucumber salad stuff. And we'll probably just do, like, fruits and just all kinds of, like, little finger food things for dinner. Dinner's tonight. going in the oven, and that'll be done in just a little bit. So here's our little appetizer dinner. We're going to go ahead and eat real quick, and then we'll have a little bit of playtime after dinner is done. Here's how you make a goldfish bowl. One, get a grape or dipping chip from the goldfish store. Two, get any type of goldfish um, from the grocery <coughs> store. Three, Excuse me. Let's get started. First, we're having a goldfish party. Um, These are Isabella's creations. Chips out of the bag, um, and one for each person. Um, and then two, you get um, a handful of goldfish if you're a six-year-old. Um, if you aren't a six-year-old, if you're older, younger than a six-year-old, then you have to ask a six-year-old um, to do 
the goldfish handful part. Then <laughs> it's gonna be a six-year-old hand. Then you put the goldfish in your chip. Then voila, you can have a goldfish party. Voila. <laughs> I love it. Goldfish party. <laughs> That's it for the vlog today. Thanks for coming along on the vlog, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.